Yeah, so one of the issues we face is that the data set is too large. So when you have 50,000 stocks in the world, and if you were to spend a month on each one, unfortunately, God hasn't given us 50,000 months on planet Earth to go through them all. We've got probably less than 10,000 or 12,000. We got less than probably 10,000 months total, and uh, or less than 1,000, I would say. So it's 120 months is 10 years. So yeah, we only have about 1,500 months before we're dead and gone. And if you spent your whole life looking at every business and you started when you were 20 and you went till you were 80, you could look at 66 or 7,000 businesses or something. It's not much that you would actually be able to get through. Actually, not even six or 7,000. You would get through about 100 businesses every 10 years and you would probably get to six or 700 businesses in a lifetime. And, and that's just doing nothing else. And which means that you would basically have only looked at something like 1% of the full data set. So we need hacks. We can't do it. Just, and so there are several hacks you can use. One hack you can use is you could go and look at something like Value Investors Club, which has a rigorous membership requirement and the quality of the ideas posted is well above average. And so if you limited yourself to only companies that have a write-up on Value Investors Club, that's a much more manageable data set. And you could actually drill down on a lot more businesses. If you went down that route, you might be able to maybe look at a few hundred businesses a year. And, uh, and the good thing with the Value Investors Club is that you get digested data. So you get both qualitative and quantitative data in a pretty digested form where someone has spent the time to write it up and is giving you the story and all that. Now, you may agree or disagree or not understand the story, and that's fine. You can let things go if they don't make sense. So that's one hack. Data Roma is another hack, which is... Uh, a site that lists the major holdings of a bunch of great investors. So if it's already gone through one filter, someone smart that you admire already bought it, that's a great list to go window shopping and then hopefully actually shopping in. So you can do some hacks like that. What is What does Berkshire's portfolio look like, for example? And take it from there. So these are some of the things you can do where you can winnow down that 50,000 stock universe, which is impossible to go through into something more manageable. And then on the other end of the spectrum, other side, if you end up with one or two ideas that you can find in a year that go through all these filters, that's a really good outcome. So if you're able to find one good investment a year, I think that's a year well spent. And so that's how I would, and that's how I do go about it is I am a shameless cloner and I want to leverage what other people have already figured out. Value Investors Club is good. Data Roma is good. And anything I can find out where someone else has already done some work and has some perspective, I would like to understand the perspective and then take it from there. I gave a talk some years back, 10 Commandments of Investment Management. And the commandments that came down the mountain, there were actually two sets of 10. One was for investment managers and one was for humanity investment manager tablet dropped and broke, broke and we never got that. So I had to create it for us investment managers. And one of the commandments is thou shall never use Excel. And so if you find yourself reaching for Excel, then you know you don't have Bell Rejoice and you don't have Resas. So if it doesn't hit you over the head, like this is a total no brainer. So I think it's a good idea to look at things and read things where things are so blindingly obvious just on the first read. Now, you may need to do more work to fine tune it, but it should just hit you so obviously that this is worth 10 times what I'm, look, what I'm going to be paying for it. And that's the way to go. And Excel is not the way to get there.